Unfortunately, there's always a, a group of people who are almost forgotten or set aside. And we were seeing that uh, with uh, people who are currently in prison and jails. And as we were finding out, it was politically unpopular. Um, people were, were asking me in interviews, why are you advocating uh, for people who are currently incarcerated? Why them and not teachers? Why them and not, you know, parents? Why them and not children? Um, and it was being politicized. And we were able to step in and try and help and push back against that narrative to remind people that we're all going through this together and no one human life is worth less than. Uh, we need to be standing up for everyone and especially the people who are being uh, forgotten or trampled on. They all have amazing stories to tell. Um, they all have stories of triumph and struggle, a lot of experiences to share with us, and how, how could I not be inspired by them? My motivation in working on this advocacy is that, you know, it gives my life purpose. Um, you know, uh, being able to wake up in the morning and know that uh, I'm doing something to impact not only my life but those around me is, is, is something that is very fulfilling and purposeful. And at the end of the day, like, my quote unquote death to society is not to sit in the box and just ride. You know, as harsh as that sounds, that, that's the easy route, you know. Um, my death to society is tribute to leaving the world a little better than how I found it. And um, I think that um, being able to do this work, not only for myself, but for my community and my family and my peers, um, is, is, is something that, that, that gives my life purpose, that fuels my soul. I think that people should support the work that CLS does, um, you know, just to ensure that those that the most marginalized and impacted people are represented, right, as, as we move towards liberation. Um, being able to just uplift the voices, you know, I mean, of those most most impacted, impacted is, is, is crucial. Um, being able to uh, understand that, like, liberation isn't just a rich man's game, that liberation should be for everybody, and the work that CLS does is being is being able to kind of um, create the conditions and provide a platform um, that to where liberation is actually accessible to all of us. You know, my, my life is one that has always been lived on the margin. Um, you know, I'm a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a black man of color involved in the criminal justice system, you know, and so, you know, I've been, uh, 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 I've come from a generation of poverty, um, and so I'm, 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 I'm definitely familiar with, you know, what injustice looks like, I'm definitely familiar with um, how mass incarceration can begin to erode away at, um, uh, at, human, di at human dignity, you know what I'm saying? At, uh, 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 at uh, self confidence, self worth. I have begun and been aware of many people who are, you know, great people whose lives have been lost behind these walls or destroyed, you know what I'm saying, by, uh, by institutions that really didn't value, you know, poor and, and lives of people of color. And so, and this is the thing that motivates me to fight. And, and another thing that also motivates me to, to fight and to become an advocate is to also see other people uh, fighting alongside me that does um, that may not share my experience but also empathize with my struggle. Um, and you know, when I look to my left and I look to my right and I see Columbia Legal Services and I see the Village of Hope and I see many of these other organizations, you know, also being advocates for people that they may not be familiar with or may not know personally. These are also the things that motivate me to continue to, you know, really compel me to be a champion of, of, of the people at the bottom. You know, 
I think that when people feel and need adequate representation, Columbia Legal Services is the is the, is the group that is representing them, and that's why they should be supported because they do awesome work and they're doing extraordinary things, um, and they're also doing it even when no one's looking. Because I would just like to, you know, really give, um, you know, really give my, you know, what I'm saying, uh, uh, my thanks and appreciation, you know, what I'm saying, for all of the work that you guys do, um, you know, for the advocacy work that you guys continue to put forth. Um, you know, for the, um, you know, for the stands that you continue to make on, you know what I'm saying, the behalf of prisoners, on the behalf of immigrants, on the behalf of people of color, on the behalf of, 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 of families, on the behalf of organizations, you know what I'm saying, who, uh, um, you know, who really need, you know, legal scholars and legal advocates um, on their side. There's leaders who are quick to politicize many different decisions, and we need to come back and remind them, you know, these are real people that you're making these decision on, decisions on. You need to care for their safety. You need to care for their well-being, just like you're caring for every other, you know, person inside of uh, the state of Washington.